Hi. So today I have a very interesting problem to sh share with you, which is a number theory problem because it, uh, it uses some number theory theorems, but it also uses uh, some calculus. So such problems are not very easy to come by in uh, ISI semi or Olympiad standard. So this is one of the rare problems which actually combines everything you know. Let P be a prime number and let A, B, C, D be distinct positive integers such that A power P plus D power P is equal to C power P plus D power P. Prove that mod of A minus C plus mod of B minus C is greater than or equal to P. Let me tell you really quick what this means. It means if this happens, this equation holds that A cannot be very close to C and B cannot be very close to D. In fact, if we consider the equation, say x power p plus y power p equal to some constant k, then the integer solutions to this equation are, which we call lattice points, by the way, they are somewhat far away. You cannot have two integer solutions that are very close on the curve. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, the way we do it is a power p is congruent to a mod p. This is from Fermat's theorem. b power p is congruent to b mod p. Again, Fermat's theorem. Now we uh, do this for all the four numbers, and that actually gives us a plus b is congruent to c plus d mod p. Therefore, a minus c plus b minus d is congruent to 0 modulo of 4. Therefore, this quantity is a multiple of p. Also, this thing here resembles this. Actually, norm of a minus c plus norm of b minus d is greater than or equal to norm of a minus C plus B minus D. This is from triangle inequality. Therefore, if we can prove that this is not equal to zero, then we're done. Because uh, if it's not zero, then it's at least P or P minus one, doesn't matter. So if it's not zero, then the absolute value is at least P. So if we can prove that it's not zero, then we are done. Let's rephrase the problem now. Prove that a power p plus d power p equal to c power uh, c power p plus d power p and a plus d equal to c plus d have no common solution in integers, of course, in positive integers. Now, you will have to make some choices on A, C, B, and D. If we assume, uh, by the way, we cannot have A greater than C and B greater than D because that will make the left-hand sides greater than the right-hand sides. So one has to be less, one has to be uh, greater. So if we assume A is less than C, then B has to be greater than D. Then there are some more choices to make, in fact. Uh, it can be, you, you can have A less than C, less than D, less than B. Or you can have A is greater than C, greater than D, greater than B. So what's happening is, note that a power p minus c power p 
is uh, d power p minus d power p. And as a minus c is equal to, we have assumed uh, we have assumed that a minus c is equal to d minus b. We can divide the two sides by that. Now this looks like the mean value theorem. Mean specifically mean value theorem for the function x goes to x power p. Therefore, by the mean value theorem, we have that there is some x between a and c such that p x power p minus one, and there is some y between d and b such that the right hand side is p y power p minus one which actually means x equal to y, which cannot be true because x and y belong to two disjoint intervals. Therefore, these two equations do not have a common solution. There are two points that I would like to make. I did not justify this well. It's up to you to justify this. If you can get it, leave the solution in the comment. And uh, there is something else as well. Can you do this without using the mean value theorem, without any calculus at all? Because Olympiad problems cannot involve calculus. So this must have a non-calculus solution as well. Try to find it. And if you find, let us know in the comments. Bye for today.